All right, we're doing a wheel alignment on a Tesla 3. I'm gonna focus on what's different than a normal wheel alignment, what's specific to this car. Um, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing is it's difficult to get the car into neutral. So we need to fool the car into thinking someone's in here and then it will stay in neutral. If it thinks you've gotten out of the car, it's just gonna go ahead and put the parking brake on and park the car. So first thing we're gonna do, we want it to think the door is shut. You could use anything, I have a pencil. Okay, it thinks the door is shut. Seat belt is on. I'll go ahead and sit down and car's in neutral now. We just can't touch the door handle because it'll unlatch. So we'll just sort of carefully swing the door and let it just sit there. Okay, so now we are in fact in neutral and we can roll the car. All right, next I'll block the wheels and mount our wheel sensors. All right, wheel sensors are on there. Now Tesla does recommend that I put 250 pound weights on the front seats, measure the height in the four uh, specified positions under the car and then move the seats forward and back to get the car perfectly level. I don't have those 50 pound, 150 pound weights, so I'm gonna proceed without that. But in this case, you know, maybe the car would be more perfectly aligned following that procedure exactly, but the alignment is so far off. I mean, the wheel's way off center when you're going straight, it's got a pull. I just wanna do this as a baseline and maybe follow up after ordering that sandbag uh, so I can have that here to use that. At this point, I don't need the uh, car in neutral. So I'll go ahead and open the door and it'll go right into park. Doing my caster sweep as normal. This is all normal alignment stuff. And I'll put it in the steering wheel holder. Actually, most cars have a sort of straight piece right behind the steering wheel so you can line the two up. But in the Tesla, I've got the steering wheel holder in and the brake depressor. There's not really a straight thing behind it. So I'm gonna just try and eyeball for straightness. They also specify a level that you can hook on here. I'm gonna order a few special things to get better with these Tesla alignments the sandbags and the steering wheel level. Okay, so let's see what we got. Looks like our toe is way off, so we'll go ahead and adjust the toe. Pretty typical tie rod situation here. So I'll break free the jam nut, which looks like a 21. Let's see how tight this sucker is. <sighs> yeah. Pretty tight. There. Okay, got the jam nut free. And it looks like the flats on the tie rod are a 14. So, got my screen back here. See that red bar I'm trying to address? So we're going to be towing. I like to actually run a tiny bit of tow in. I mean, you know, I'm staying within the factory spec, but I'm going to go to the sort of inner edge of that spec because the feel, vehicle feels more steady at speed to me like that. All right, so on many cars I'd be done now, but on this car, it has so many sort of autonomous features that I've got to reset the uh, steering angle sensor is what I would call it. But let's go ahead and look at the screen and get into service mode and reset that button. Okay. 
Okay, I go to software, hold the Model 3, and I type in service. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're in service mode. Uh, chassis. Alignment. Okay, here's where we are. Clear applied offset. Hold right turn signal and press down the brake for eight seconds. There we go. Okay. Clear applied offset. Run. Success. Close. Oh, there. Okay, I have to go to the main menu and then exit service mode. Hold to exit. All right. So we'll test drive and see how this did for us. All right. The alignment seems to have helped some, but still I notice when you regen, it pulls a tad to the right. So I might revisit this alignment and go ahead and check the thrust angle. Which is essentially the rear toe.